Haley Deegan is back. Just a couple of weeks ago, she was let go by AM Racing after a string of poor results. But now she seems to have found her way back using her connections with Haas. The 2024 NASCAR Xfinity season has not been a positive one for Haley Deegan. Her results have been very well below expectations as she spent most of the year in the back of the grid. But the fault may not be entirely hers, and Haas is willing to take another chance with her. And we are willing to provide you with the latest NASCAR news to the best fans in the world. You. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button for our channel and we'll do the rest. Stuart Haas Racing has already announced that they will be exiting the grid after the conclusion of the current season. However, Gene Haas has other ideas. Just a few days after SHR announced their departure, Gene Haas stated that they would continue without the support of Tony Stewart, and the team would be called the Haas Factory Team, or HFT. Along with this announcement, they also mentioned that they will be running two charters in the Cup Series and two teams in the Xfinity Series. The team's president, Joe Custer, has stated that he intends to bring Haley Deegan into this new chapter. We believe there's more in her, and we want to be a part of that. Joe Custer said Saturday in response to a question from NBC Sports about Deegan being a candidate for a Haas Factory team ride. But that's for future conversations. Custer said the goal for the Haas Factory team is to win. The situation with us at Haas Factory team is we have to win at that level, he said. We are willing to look at all options as far as drivers go. Maybe somebody that is already in the sport. Maybe somebody that's a cup driver that comes down. We've got to put cars in the winner's circle. We've got to sort out our equipment because our business model is reliant on having technical partners to keep the program healthy. So if we don't win and we're not a leader on the track, then our other teammates, they find it hard to believe that we can deliver the kind of data and leadership for them. So it's a different model. Our game plan is for drivers to come into those teams as well as ours. Whether they go from theirs to ours, maybe, maybe not. All options are open. We envision eight successful Xfinity teams the two Haas factory team cars and other technical partners showing up to every race next year and the year after with a high level of confidence and the ability to win. While the Haas factory team is interested in signing Haley Deegan, will this be the right option for her or will this be another AM Racing fiasco? This year, AM Racing failed to provide Haley Deegan with the platform to succeed in the Xfinity series. First of all, Deegan was not yet ready for the Xfinity series. She had spent three years racing in the truck series and had not acquired the results to succeed in Xfinity. She probably needed a year or two more in the truck series before being promoted. One of the main reasons for her promotion was her popularity on social media and her connections in motorsport. Here's Dale Earnhardt Jr. to explain how Deegan's sponsors and connections promoted her too early and eventually caused her to lose her seat in AM racing. Haley is a product of a very challenging system, Earnhardt Jr. theorized. This is the same for a lot of drivers that I've worked with, and a lot of drivers that I've seen that work their way from, whether it be racing at Millbridge to late models, super late models to truck and Xfinity opportunities that eventually come along. A lot of times, whatever the financial support is for a driver, it is very difficult. Wherever that financial support is coming from, whether it's a sponsor, whether it's family, Whatever that support is, it's still a lot of money, a huge commitment. It's not forever. What happens is, and this is, I believe, somewhat similar for Haley is, in a perfect world, you would let Haley or any of these other drivers run in that K&N series, or run super late models, or run trucks a few more years. What happens is there's a bit of an urgency to try and move up and take the very next available opportunity at the next level, because the support financially is not forever and you do not know when that finally dries up. For whatever reason, you lose that financial support. So every rung on the ladder that develops above you, whether it's the truck series or Xfinity series, no matter how good or bad that rung is, you grab it. I think a lot of times, drivers then ultimately end up in bad situations that don't pan out for them. And this is one of those scenarios where I think that she felt like, man, I've really got to take this. This is being presented to me, and I've got to take it. It's Xfinity. I think I'll fit those cars better. I think I'll do a better job in this series. She took it, when it might not have been the opportunity she should have chosen. What other things she could have done, I do not know. Whether it had been staying in the truck series, but I see this with a lot of drivers that are trying their hardest to get to the very top, taking the next opportunity that presents itself at the next level, and trying to progress as quickly as possible. 
because you can't sit here and fund a late model program or a super late model program or a truck program or a K&N program forever. They're like, well, we're spending all this money. Let's go spend it here. And they just end up in bad situations. It's about timing, but it's frustrating to see it. When she came into the Xfinity series with AM Racing, she was unable to perform well throughout the year. Although there were some minor glimpses where she finished in the top 15, she was not able to do so consistently. Just before the Xfinity race in Charlotte, AM Racing fired her crew chief. Since then, she wasn't even able to get into the top 20. AM Racing was not happy with this and decided to let her go without even completing an entire season in Xfinity. There's no doubt that AM Racing should have provided her a lot more to succeed. The team made their debut in Xfinity just last year, although they had an average season with Brett Moffat as their driver, who is much more experienced than Deegan. They weren't able to deliver the same results this year. Bubba Wallace's spotter, Freddie Kraft, sided with Deegan over AM Racing's decision to sack her. You can't build a program around an inexperienced driver. You don't know if your cars have speed if your driver doesn't have any experience at the track you're going to. So if obviously money is a big factor in this, but if there was a way to have Brett and Haley there, I think it would have only benefited Haley. But unfortunately, it wasn't the case. And now they're going to have to go and take a route of putting drivers in here to try to evaluate where their program's really at. And there's good people over there, like I said. And hopefully, they get it sorted out. Concluding his take on the matter, Kraft was just hoping for Deegan's bright future, while also clearing her of any blame. Haley lands on her feet somewhere. I'm sure she will. She's a talented race car driver. This is not on Haley either. AM Racing should have given her more mentorship, guidance, and support for her to grow. What was even worse was the fact that she was the only driver on the team. She had no one to learn from, no one to mentor her, and limited access to data as they were only running one car. Given that HFT is restructuring at the moment, they could have the same issues that AM Racing has been having this year. So Deegan might again face the same problems she did this year. For this reason, HFT may not be the right choice for Deegan. Another option that has come up for Deegan is Andretti Global. A week after she was fired by AM Racing, Deegan headed to Iowa for the Indy Car Race weekend. She also suspiciously followed Indy NXT and Andretti Global on Instagram. This started the suspicion that Deegan could be headed to the Indy NXT series. Andretti Global is a much more established team and has a huge facility in Indiana. The team already employs one female driver, Jamie Chadwick, who is proving to be a promising driver in the series. They have access to data and mentors who can help Deegan improve as a driver. But the problem with this move is that Deegan has grown up racing stock cars. IndyCar is open wheel racing, which is a lot different than stock. Indy cars have much more downforce and races in a variety of circuits, including ovals, road courses, and street circuits. This could prove to be a bit more challenging for Deegan, as NASCAR usually races only in oval circuits. For this reason, Deegan could be considering HFT's offer to return to the Xfinity series. Another one of the reasons for Deegan's unsuccessful campaign with AM Racing was Ford. It is no secret that Ford has not been performing well with these current regulations that were introduced in 2022. This year, things got off to a very bad start, not just in the Xfinity series, but in the Cup series as well. However, Deegan's connections are right now only with HFT and Ford. Besides, the other teams may not want to sign Deegan as they don't have much proof that she's capable of fighting in the top 10. Haley Deegan has some very important decisions to make during the remainder of the year. She has to decide if staying in NASCAR is the right move, or should she go for a more experienced team in IndyCar? What do you think Haley Deegan should do next year? Post your thoughts in the comments section below.